Oh, we have a rambunctious bunch down here in Minneapolis. How we doing? <laughs> We're doing good. It sounds good. That high pressure again will start to push. It finally moves out of our area. Now we're going to see those winds kick out of the south. That's actually going to increase our chances for rain. And then Sunday, watch the time here, 4, 5, 6 o'clock, we start to introduce rain showers. So if you have plans Sunday, make sure you're watching the weather. We could pick up some rain showers in the afternoon. Welcome back. If you're just joining us here at the end of our show, we are seeing some serious thunderstorms down to our south. Here in Duluth, we are seeing some thunderstorms, but they're general thunderstorms and anything north of Duluth, general thunderstorms. But the area you want to watch out for here is Moose Lake down towards Hinkley and anything in northwest Wisconsin. This thunderstorm here is putting down half dollar size hail and you can see the leading edge of the squall line here as we wait for it. Here you go on I-35. That is putting down 75 mile per hour winds. So we have a little bit of uh, deliciousness here. It's uh, sauce with the blueberry. Professional eater you are today, John. Cake and then mm. this and then how good is it? Yep. Well, Get in the shot. Come on. Get in the shot. Hey, well, look who I got here. Ryan Seacrest. Good to see you. How's it going? What has changed for you from season one to now season 14? And what do you hope for the future for American Idol? My hair color has changed a little bit. Yeah, you yeah. still look good. Oh, well, thanks. Dana, this is a rummage sale, right? So I do need to do some rummaging. I, th I think that's that's what they told me. All right, let's do some rummaging here. All right, um, Dana, yeah, I think that's the new look. That's how we do it. I like to dance. I don't. I don't think I could disco to that. But back out to the west, heads up. There's some cold air behind this low. Do 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 do. Do you know what part of the what song that's from? Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Is it coming out? Can we check? I think it is. This is gonna be one wild adventure. All right, guys, let's go. Woo! Three, four. Come on. Woo! Four. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dana Thayer. And I'm John Ziegler. John, you got to leave the office yesterday. You got to spend nice. the day down at Target Field in Minneapolis. It was fun. And it was not bad out considering what we've been going through uh, with weather. I, it was 60 degrees in the afternoon there, completely sunny. And you got to stay for the game. Yeah, I and did of course go to the game. Warmed up a bit there. And I did have the rib tips if you were watching the show <laughs> yesterday. I was raving about them. I didn't have them yet, though. They are good. They are good. I'll have to check them out. Yes. And they do have a break today if you were thinking of heading down there. But they do have a game on Wednesday, and it might be in the mid to upper 70s. This is no joke. It's going to be a little uh, blast of sun and summer on Wednesday if you want to head down to the game. 32 out there right now, and it feels a little bit windy out there, at brisk, 12 mile an hour winds. But that's key, because yesterday we were waking up to that fog. This morning, that wind is keeping us away from the fog. All that melting snow is keeping that moisture at the surface. So we'll have chances for fog each morning that we actually calm down. So winds in the morning are going to be very important for the next couple of weeks here while we're melting this snow. 31 outside, now we actually just dropped below freezing. Upper 20s in Grand Rapids, 30 in International Falls. So not a warm morning, not a cold morning. A very classic day today. Again, our highs are going to be right around average. Our lows are right around where we're supposed to be. 36 in Ashland today, so a couple of us are above freezing and a couple of us are below freezing. But what's really important this morning is the wind speeds. Now, there are 10 out of the northwest. That's what's going to keep us cooler today. It's still mid to upper 40s, so right where we're supposed to be. But by the time we get to tomorrow, this will be long in the past. We'll be talking 60s, and some of us, even in the Northland, could be talking 70 degrees. We're under this high pressure that sits up into Canada right now that's going to dry us out. Now you can see, maybe we'll see a few passing clouds and a couple of slight chances. I had actually some rain showers out in Ironwood this morning, but that should be it. I think we'll see partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies today and then mostly sunny and very warm skies tomorrow. Today looks great, 45 in Duluth, 49 in Aiken. Again, a classic spring day, we'll be melting that snow, but here comes that warmth. As I run through it today, you see we get mild, but as we go into your Wednesday, watch this warmth pick up. This low drives up into Canada, watch the colors. I haven't seen these colors in a while. That is orange and red, 60s and 70s. By the time we get into Wednesday, unbelievable. 60 degrees, a little bit cooler around the lake, and a slight chance for a spotty thunderstorm Wednesday night. So 
Dana, and it doesn't go away on Thursday. I can't believe that's real. A six and a zero, 60, no 60. way. 60, oh, and we're the low spot. Many places will be in the mid-60s, upper 60s. If we travel, what, south, I'm guessing? Any, uh, Cloquet could be in the upper 60s. All right, so a, a trip to Gordy's may be in order? Sounds good to me. All right, see you tomorrow. All right. Well, and later today, of All course. Right. We're driving in high pressure, so you can see it's really struggling to move into Duluth. I don't think it's going to this morning, but if you are traveling down towards Moose Lake, Sandstone, Hinkley, you can see Spooner down towards Hayward picking up some showers, actually some heavy downpours near Siren, moving down towards Rush City and Pine City, which shows that now the storm is pushing just a tad to the west, and that's all we needed to really uh, bulk up and ramp up these accumulations, and we will see that. Notice Wisconsin, the entire state is nearly under the winter storm warning. We are seeing some heavy bands of snow. You could see those heavy bands, those are in the dark blue, and you could see there's about three of them. We've seen one pass already here in the ports. Now it's heading in towards Silver Bay. Ashland, you're seeing a couple of inches. Each heavy dark blue band is putting down about an inch of snow or an inch and a half of snow. Butter, not margarine, right? No margarine in a bakery. Gross. That's illegal? It's illegal. You get pulled over for stuff like yes, that? Yes, you do. Okay. Mary Kay's bourbon sliders are waiting. I'm going to show you how to make homemade chicken wings. It's the easiest thing ever and it's so much better than out of a package. Are you heading out there right now? Here's those road conditions. We are seeing some improvements now just in the inner city parts of Duluth, but if you're heading outside of Duluth, 61, you're still seeing heavy snow. No Halloween treat is complete without something extremely creepy like eyeballs. Eyeballs. All right, let's Gotta do have it. Them. Sid challenged me to a killer. Not one ah. killer, a full rink. Yeah. Come on, come on, Johnny. And you see this little blob? Yes, that's 32 plus inches of snow, and some could be coming in with 40 today when it's all said and done. Monday though we rebound, unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a great Father's Day at this point. Dana, I just had so much fun, and I was only rummaging for what, one minute? Right. This is epic, and I think you can see behind me, yeah, walleye and cheese curds, I'm hoping that's next, stick around. Right outside of Target Field, and they're handing out free breakfast, Check this out. This is a ballpark Frank, and you can drive in line, and you can get one of these with the coffee. Hmm. Tastes like breakfast.